Hi, Grant Fritchie, Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software. Today I want to talk to you about backup automation with SQL Azure. The key to any backup is being able to automate it so that it runs completely independent of you or any other user and um, you've got backups occurring regardless of whether anyone's online connected to the server, people are on vacation or not, uh, you get hit by that bus that runs down all the developers, I don't know. You need backups to run in an automated fashion. All the demos I've shown you on my blog post so far have been showing the GUI for SQL Azure Backup, but we have a command line capability built into it just for this thing so you can automate your processes so you don't have to be dependent upon a GUI, you don't have to be dependent upon manual operations. You can programmatically control what you're doing. So what I'm going to show you today is using XP Command Shell to run this backup or using PowerShell to run this backup. Now it's a DOS command line so you can run it any way you want, but I'm going to show you a couple of ways within SQL Server. So let's go take a look. After you download and unpack the SQL Azure Backup, you're going to get two applications uh, you'll see inside the folder. You'll see the uh, Redgate SQL Azure Backup, which is the GUI, and you'll see Redgate.SQL Azure Backup command line, which is the command line. If we switch back over here to SQL Server, I've got here set up uh, XP command shell that you can see, and uh, it's passing in uh, the path. SQL Azure Backup, uh, regate.sql Azure Backup Command Line.exe. Then I've broken down the line. You'd actually have this out on a single line. I've broken it down just to make it a little easier to read. So, first off, we have the um, Azure Server, and it's got my server.database.windows.net, and then the Azure uh, Database, in this case, Movie Management, my Azure Username, and my Azure Password. And yeah, you go for it. You can try those, they won't work for you. And then the local server and the local database. And if I run this, it will result in a backup occurring, assuming, of course, I've put in the right server login and password. And I realize I've got a little jump cut here, but I wanted to show you the output from a successful backup. So this is what it looks like um, inside of SQL Server when you run the uh, XP command shell, which I don't recommend. I, I recommend you run PowerShell, and I'm going to show you the PowerShell script in just a minute. But this is what happens. Um, it results in a, um, it shows you that it's registering, it's copying the local database, generating the script, running the script, running the script, retrieving data, generating script, inserting local data, and updating statistics. It's finished. And so it's a successful run. You get everything you need, and that's how you do a copy. Now I'm going to show you to do, how to do a uh, backup using the command through PowerShell to do the import-export to a uh, blob storage. What we've got here is a PowerShell script. I'm setting location to SQL Azure Backup. I've got my command line here, redgate.sqlazurebackupcommandline.exe. And you can see I'm passing in my server name and going to a particular database and particular user password, which I will not show you. And the results are I have a backpack backup done, um, which is an export to a blob storage on uh, Azure itself. And that's all done. Worked great. I went one step further. What I've done here is, uh, because there is no agent, no way of scheduling jobs currently on SQL Azure, um, I've created my own little job here on, on my local SQL Server agent. And let's open that up a little bit. Take a look. What I've got here is a step, SQL Azure Backup. The type is PowerShell. So this is a PowerShell script running from SQL Agent. Let's go ahead and run it. Now it takes just a little while to complete. So, now it's going. I'm going to wait for the time it takes to run. It takes almost about two minutes, really, and we'll wait for it. The thing you got to remember is, is that you want to be able to do um, live, you know, scheduled processing on these servers exact same way we, you would do it against your own local server. The only difference being, of course, this is not moving anything down to my local server. This is moving storage from my database into the backpack through the import-export utility. And so the backpack is blob storage that is stored out on SQL Azure and it will be done just in a minute. We'll wait for it. But the nice thing is, is that you get, there it goes. And the nice thing is you get this all set up through the command line, through SQL Azure backup, all from Redgate software. Right. 
Thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie over for Redgate Software.